Hello, this is uh, another series of lecture for buckling. So the agenda for today is we're going to do an example uh, on buckling using extended Euler's formula. So the Euler's formula, uh, depending on how the structure is uh, configured or fixed on any end, the equivalent length uh, magnitude changes. And then after that, we're going to look at design of structure steel columns under centric loading. So let's look at this example. So we have a column L with a length L and has a rectangular cross-sectional area. And one of the end is fixed. Okay, so this is this is fixed. And the other end supports a, a, a centric load. So what you can see at point A is you have support at point A, okay, that looks like that, okay, so two rounded uh, edge fixed plates at A, and moving in on the vertical plane of symmetry of the column, okay, but allows it to move the other. So IE in this direction is allowed to move left and right, sorry, left and right, and is also allowed to move up and down. So it's basically free. And on the other support, it is not allowed allowed to look at go for left and right. So I will elaborate on that later on. So what we're going to find is we're going to determine the ratio. I will, I will again uh we will I will highlight what is going on down here. Okay. So don't worry, my explanation earlier was not fantastic, but once I draw it out we can see better. So determine the ratio A over B of the two sides of the cross section corresponding to the most significant design against buckling. So i.e. this structure can buckle in your along your uh, xy plane and also along your xz plane. So we want them to be uh, both on both planes of buckling we want them to have equal strength. Okay. And then we're going to design the most efficient cross section of the column given all those data over here for part B. Okay, so let's look at part A now. So I'm going to copy this diagram. Eh, sorry. And we're going to I'm going to make a smaller version so you can look at it clearer. So the first thing we're going to so we look at our transformation x, y, and z. Everything is is given. So the first one we're going to analyze, I'm going to analyze on the XY plane. Okay, so we're going to analyze on the XY plane. So to draw our transformation, this is my Y, this is my X, and then we have a rotation about Z down here. Okay, so we're going to sketch this out. Okay, so we're going to sketch this out. So one end is built in. Okay, so this is my point B. And then point A it has two plates that are surrounded. Okay, so in fact, there are they are in contact. Okay, so I'm I'm going to draw them in contact. I'm going to push it in. They're going to be in contact. So this is point A. So when we when we look at this configuration, it's at point B. It's fixed. Okay, so we have point B that's fixed, and point A is basically pin. And let me explain what it's going. So fix means uh, it can resist. So no, so x and y motion is equal to zero, right? So they cannot move x and y. And then moment about z is is also equal to zero. Whereas for this case, okay, for this case, what we see y is equal to zero. So the structure can still move in Z, and more importantly, 
stress Z is not equal to zero. So the thing can bend. So if we have a vertical load coming down, okay, we have a vertical load coming down, P, our structure is capable of deforming in this direction now, right? So that's how our structure is capable of deforming, or I'll, I'll draw, I'll draw it this way, okay? Right? And when that's the case, we know we have to find what is our IZZ. Because the curvature, right? The curvature, this curvature over here, right? And this curvature are in the same uh, slope or in the same curve direction. So that's why it's curving by the Z axis. So that's why we have to find IZZ. Okay, so when that's the case, if we go back to this lecture over here, so one fixed end and one pin end, L is equal to 0 0.5. Okay, we have a different configuration over here, so both ends are pins. So our situation is not both ends are pins, okay, because at point B is on a pin situation, so ours is not. So from here, by looking at extended Euler's uh, formula, we know that this will be equal to. Uh, L E is equal to 0 0.7 L. So you can write this up now. Okay, so you go over here. So we know that L E is equal to uh, 0 0.7 L. Okay, now let's look at the other configuration. I'm going to split this into two. Let's look at the other configuration then. Okay, let's look at the other plane. Okay. So on the other plane, oops, sorry. So let's look on the other plane now. So now we're going to look at, uh, we're going to focus on exact plane. Okay, we look at exact plane. So again, I'm going to sketch this out. So how it looks like, it will look like this now. Wider. All right. And the other end is built in. Okay, and then the roller. Let's say we split this. The roller is behind. Oh, wrong. Right. So now we are viewing this based on this configuration. Now this is our X and this is our Z. My computer is playing up with me, I do apologize. I think it's a user. Z and Y. Oi! Sorry about this. Don't mean to waste your time. So this is our X. This is our Z. And this is a rotation about Y. So this is our roller. Okay, so that is how the roller. So how this structure will deform now. So we know this end is fixed. And the other end, if we put a load P down, okay, if we load a P down, the structure will deform this way. Okay, so structure will deform this way now. Alright, the structure will sway this way. So given a load P. So when that's the case, what you can see over here, this sort of configuration, because the roller is not resisting, or the support at A, okay, so this is my point B, the support at A is not resisting the motion in the uh, Z and X direction at all. So i.e., this is what? This end is free. So likewise, if we say what we see over here, X, right before, 
x and y sorry x and z no motion okay and then moment about y is also equal to zero whereas for this case x and z is not equal to zero it can move and moment about y is not equal to zero that's why we have it under free so if you go back to the extended Euler's formula right so what we have down here is basically same condition as over here so the equivalent length is 12 so basically the structure is more prone to uh, more prone to buckling or less stiff right so now so L is so as I mentioned before uh, the smaller LE um, uh, will increase the resistance to buckling, right? And this is because of the support. Okay, this is purely because of the support. So uh, from here, what we can do now is we can uh, look at how to find uh, second moment of area now okay so we're going to find second moment of area so over here looking at the deformation pattern we know that uh, we have our IYY okay right so this we have to find IZZ, that we have to find IYY. So I'm going to draw our structure in this configuration. Top view. Okay. And then we have our axis. Alright, we have both our axis. So this will be our YY and this will be our ZZ. Okay, so I need for both and we're gonna do something that you are very familiar with. Okay. So we're gonna do both sides because I need it on the other side later on. So in this case we on we're gonna look at IZZ. Okay, so that is our ZZ axis. When that's our ZZ axis, this will be our width. And this direction will be our depth. Okay, so IZZ is going to width, depth, cube over 12. So the width, we know that is B. The depth is A cube over 12. So let me uh, draw this down so we know that this dimension over here that is our depth so this is A and this dimension over here that is our B okay so likewise so there's our I Z Z so we're gonna find our I Y Y now so this is again our B this is again our A so if to on the right hand side now we're gonna find i y y right so parallel to the axis is now the width perpendicular to the y y axis now this is the depth so from here we know that i y y again with d cube over 12 so the width now is a the depth now is b cube over 12 okay so what we're trying to achieve now okay so once we we have uh, uh done this what we're trying to achieve now not what we're trying to find is we're going to find the l r ratio 
so the slenderness ratio based on the support the configuration support okay such that uh, the uh, slend the nurse ratio which is our L over R at the uh, X at the uh, X Y plane yeah, at the X Y plane and exact plane Okay, is that plane are equal? So this is what we're trying to achieve. Okay. This is what we're trying to achieve. So the, the uh, based on this question, we know that how the structure is supported by looking at different planes, the equivalent length is different. But we want to make it such that the XY plane and the XZ plane are have equal strength or equal resistance. To buckling, okay. So we know that I Z Z. Right, we know that I Z Z is also equal to uh, A R Z square, okay. Where R Z square is the radius of gyration. Okay, so we can come up with R Z square. Is go to I Z Z over area. Okay, so this will be so I Z Z we found out to be what uh, B A cube over twelve, and then the area is A multiplied by B. So this will be equal to. So you can cancel some terms. So this is A squared over twelve. Am I right? Yep. So therefore, Rz will be equal to A divided by square root 12. Okay. And then from here, we know that the Le, the slenderness ratio, Rz is equal to 0.7 L divided by A over square root 12. So likewise on the on 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 the uh, exact plane, so we know that I Y Y is equal to a R Y squared. So R Y squared again, R Y squared is also the radius gyration about the y axis, right? So this will be equal to I Y Y divided by a. So I Y Y will be equal to a b cube over 12 multiplied by a b right so this will be equal to b squared over 12 right so from here we we know that our r r y will be equal to uh, b over square root 12 so from here we know that l e over r uh, y is equal to 2L 2LB right no, sorry 2L divided by B square root 12 okay. so we have two relationships down here okay right? so for both of them to have the same strength right the slenderness ratio for the uh, exact plane and the slenderness ratio for the xy plane has to be the same okay i'll come back again uh, to uh, finish off this question thank you